Hello, my Parade Medley vocalists. Uh, this is a breakdown video of some of the songs in our Parade Medley. Um, on some of the songs, I actually do have sheet music for, and what we'll do is I have input that stuff into a program called MuseScore, and I can share that on my screen with you. So as we're going through the song, you can see your notes as well as the lyrics. Um, MuseScore also has a feature to where you can play what's actually on your screen. So you'll be having a piano sound with it as well as some vocal sounds. Now the vocal sounds would just be Oz, but um, as you're following along on the screen, there's this little blue bar that'll go to each note um, as it passes through the song. So hopefully that'll help um, help you guys figure out some of these melodies. I know the songs in this medley can be very high and some of them can be very fast. So what I've also done, I've slowed down the Muse score track so that you can learn your notes a little slower and hopefully it'll be easier to um, follow along with the track after that. All right. Hi, my singers. This is the vocal breakdown for Put On Your Sunday Clothes, which is the first song in Parade Medley. So I'm just going to go through the lyrics just a little quickly before we get into the sheet music part. So obviously all of this is just the ensemble singing. Um, you guys can be in unison. You don't have to sing in parts. There are some parts you could potentially do on the very last note if you wanted to. I've included that in the sheet music, um, but again, you don't have to. If you guys want to sing in unison, that is perfectly fine. Um, I have also, because this song does get really high, I have lowered the octave in several places. So any of you, I know some of my sopranos might be tempted to go up to some of those C's, sixes, especially at the end, please don't. It's just, it's too high, it's too shrill. Just drop it down the octave. It'll be so much easier to sing and it'll sound much better. That being said, let me switch gears to the sheet music, okay? And as we've done um, in the other videos, um, I won't be able to sing along with this. I just haven't figured out how to make it work with the sound quality for me to sing along with this, but you will have a guide on here um, to show you where your notes are, what they sound like, and so on. So I'm gonna close my window. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and push play on this and you guys just follow along. Okay, so obviously the track is much faster than that. I did slow it down so it would be easier to catch all of your notes. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, I did 
do some octave things here. So any of my altos who are singing, if this part here is too high, jump down the octave. For everybody though here that we won't come home in the track, it is super high. So I did jump all of that down an octave for everyone just because it's, it's so high and so shrill. So anyways, please, please try not to, to go up to all those really high notes. Again, it's just gonna be too, too shrill. So if you can, just drop down the octave, it'll sound better. At the end here, I did mention there are parts if you want to try them. If not, you don't have to. It's really okay if you wanna just stay on the, the melody, that's fine as well. Um, so anyways, this is put on your Sunday clothes. Hopefully this helps um, and we will be, of course, running through it in rehearsals. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Hi, my Shapoopy Ensemble. Um, so here is just a little uh, video vocal breakdown for the song Shapoopy in Parade Medley. So I wanna go over the lyric sheet first um, before we get into the sheet music. That way you guys have a full perspective on what is reflected in the sheet music. Now I only included the choruses, um, little spots where Bryson sings and then where you guys come in afterwards. So the entire song is not in the sheet music, just the portions around where all of you sing. Um, and then of course where the portions are where Bryson is just singing, there's some little markings that I'll show you once we once we go through this. Um, okay, so up here is our list of all of our ensemble who are singing on microphones for this. Um, I will be emailing a microphone list which tells what microphone each of you are on. Um, and those will also be um, taped up in the walls backstage um, during rehearsal. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So Bryson, of course, has this first solo section. Um, and he sings, shapoopy, shapoopy, shapoopy on that first part of the chorus. And then y'all come in with the girl who's hard to get. Then Bryson goes, shapoopy, 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 but you can win her yet. Um, in your sheet music, I have your notes. Um, my girls, if there are any portions of this that are too high, you can always sing down the octave. I have included that in the sheet music and you'll be able to hear that because there are also, um, there's a guy part in there too, just in case you guys need that lower sound as you're working on this. Um, so anyways, that's the first chorus. Then Bryson has another little solo section here. And then we have a slight key change. Um, and during that key change, you guys are singing do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do, si, do. And then it goes into sha, poopy, sha, poopy, sha, poopy, the girl who's hard to get, and so on. Um, and then sha, poopy, sha, poopy, sha, poopy, but you can win her yet. And then there's that huge instrumental break where everyone's dancing. After that instrumental break, all of the ensemble comes in on the full chorus. So sha poopy, sha poopy, sha poopy, the girl who's hard to get. Sha poopy, sha poopy, sha poopy, but you can win her yet. You can win her yet. And then at the end, that sha poopy is really just spoken. Um, in the sheet music, it'll sound like there's actual notes on that, but really you guys just say sha poopy, kind of like excitedly yelling sha poopy. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now I am going to uh change my screen okay here we go so what i'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through this with you very quickly so here is your shapoopy ensemble section of course it does include some of the parts of bryson just because he does sing a little bit before y'all um this 10 right here that represents 10 measures where you guys don't do anything um that's where bryson has his solo section so that's why that's there. It just represents that there are 10 measures um, where something else is going on that y'all don't have to worry about, okay? So you've got your parts here, Bryson sings Shapoopy, then um, uh, girls and guys sing the girl who's hard to get, Shapoopy, Shapoopy, but you can win her yet. Then when Bryson has that other little solo section, it's only five measures. So that's what that five represents there. Then you guys go into the do re excuse me, fa, so, la, si, do section. And then there's another chorus. Let's move on to the next page. Over here, 
This is just finishing up the rest of the chorus. The 16, that is what represents that huge instrumental break. So uh, as this is playing, it's just going to go right over that so that you're not sitting here for forever with no sound. Uh, so it just goes right over that. But you keep in mind that this just represents that there are 16 measures of something else going on. Then we have the final key change where all of you sing the entire chorus, shapoopy, 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 goes hard to get. And then at the end, you hold these notes out for a little longer. And over here on the last page, there we are, that shapoopy with the little X's, that just means those are the ones that are spoken. So like I said, when you hear this being played, it's gonna, it's gonna have some notes on it, but actually you're just saying it. Okay, let's go back to the beginning so that you can hear all of this. I'm gonna close my little window here so you can see the full screen and I'm gonna push play. So that is the breakdown for Shapoopy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me or you can talk to me at our next rehearsal. Thanks. Bye. Hello, my pick a little, talk a little vocalists. Um, I Right now, I'm only going to go over the ladies part. Um, I think Mr. Matt is going to make a separate video for the gentlemen. But for right now, I'm just going over the ladies part of pick a little, talk a little. Um, I wanted to go through the lyrics first, just so we can kind of get an idea of what sections repeat and what sections are a little bit different. So if you will look here on my paper, hopefully you can see my little cursor moving. Um, this first section here, you are going to repeat that here. So that repeats twice. So this section and this section here are exactly the same. Okay. This third section repeats the same as above, only to here. All right. After that, it goes, let me get the notes. Um, it goes, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little. And then there's an extra, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little. And then it goes into all of these cheap, cheap, cheaps. I want you to look here. There are three parts that repeat. So you go, cheap, 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 cheap. And then at the end, it goes, pick a little, talk a little, cheap. If you want, you can go up to that high G. It's a G5, um, but you do not have to. If you want to stay on that D, pick a little, talk a little cheap, or you can go the octave lower. Pick a little, talk a little cheap. Any of my lower altos, if you don't want to sing that high D, you can go pick a little, talk a little cheap. Okay, so you guys have some options. It doesn't have to be, you don't all have to be singing on that high note, okay? Um, so I just wanted to go over this with you first before we listen to um, the Muse score stuff with the sheet music. 
All right, so sections one and two completely repeat. Most of section three is a repeat, except when you get to here, then this part's a little different. Then you have three sections of repeated cheap cheeps, and then at the end, you have either high or low notes. Okay, so now I am going to close this and open up my other screen with your sheet music in it. Now, unfortunately, with this, I have not figured out a good way to be able to sing this along with you while hearing the music that's here. Um, I've tried it and it just the sound quality, it like goes in and out really weird. So I haven't figured out a way to sing along with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let MuseScore play this. Um, and as you can see here, I have significantly slowed this down so that you guys can get each note in your song because I know this song is super fast and it can be a little hard to hear what your notes are. So here's a really, really slowed down version of Pick a Little, Talk a Little. Keep in mind, because of all the repeats in it, this can be a little tedious to listen to just because it is so repetitive, but at least this way, hopefully you'll know what all your notes are. So I'm gonna close my little window here and then we are gonna play this all the way through. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to talk to me at rehearsal or shoot me an email. Thanks. Hey, Brandon. So this is your section of 76 trombones. Um, what I'm going to do is I have your sheet music up on the screen. We're playing it through this software called MuseScore. And so what is going to happen is you're going to have a piano and um, a voice going along through each melody line of this, as well as your lyrics that you can see. Um, unfortunately, with Zoom, uh, I haven't figured out a good way for me to actually sing along with this yet. The sound quality is just really, really poor. So I'm just going to let the Muse Score track um, be what you hear, and hopefully it'll be easy to follow along with. So I'm going to close my little window here so that you can see the full screen and we will get right into the song.
Okay, Brandon. Um, so that is your section of 76 trombones. As far as I know, you don't really need to sing the ensemble section because I think you're gonna be leading some of the uh, dancers and whatnot as the parade leader. So um, unless you're told otherwise, I would really just only worry about this section, okay? Hello, my Parade Medley Ensemble singers. This is a vocal breakdown of 76 trombones. Um, now what I've done here, of course, Brandon sings the first section of the song and then you guys come in later. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start it just a couple measures before you come in. That way you have a little lead in. Um, but what I've done here is in your sheet music, I have made both a soprano and a tenor track. Um, some of the melody lines in this song can get pretty high, especially at the end. So my ladies, I think your highest note is either uh, an A5 or an A flat five. So I know for some of you that's pretty high. Um, so you can always sing down an octave if it's a little too high for you in any spots. So in this, um, as we follow along, you're gonna hear both octaves. That's why I included them so that if at any point it's too high for you, you can sing the lower section as well. And also I believe we have at least one male singing on this with us. So, and I believe it's Jameson. So I included that there for you so you could hear your part in the correct octave as well. Okay, so I'm gonna close my little window here so you guys can see your sheet music fully. And we are going to hit play and you guys are gonna follow along on the screen. There's gonna be a little blue thing that'll go to each word and note as it goes through the song. Right, so um, there at the end, I'm not 100% sure if those are all the full correct counts, um, but roughly, because this is in 6-8, and I know that when we were learning it and counting it, I think we counted it a little bit different, maybe like in 4-4. Four, four. So if you're thinking in 4-4 four, four at the end, it's roughly about 12 counts. Um, I don't know if that matters to any of you, just letting you know. If you can think, hold it out for roughly 12 counts at the end, then you all should should be just fine. Um, so obviously it is slowed down quite a bit, so it's a little easier to understand. Um, keep in mind, of course, that the other track is much faster. So if you guys have any questions about any of this, you can talk to me either at rehearsal or you can send me an email. Y'all know where to find me. So hopefully this helped. <laughs> 